A very warm welcome to day two of Highways UK. Uh, I don't know if you were here yesterday. The organisers were saying that they had more people here yesterday than on day one and two of last year's conference put together. So it's been very successful. I think a big plus coming here to Birmingham, more accessible to people, something we've been talking about uh, a lot. Um, we spoke a lot yesterday about the... Uh, the strategy, the RIS strategies from the government and how you can deliver them. And also a subject that came up a lot yesterday was David Quarmby's report, which we're going to talk about now. He's going to set it out for you, and then this is the first public discussion of that report, major roads for the future. So we really want your input, and I'm sure David would really like to hear your views as well. Uh, and we've also got um, Transport for the North, Midlands Connect, and the England's Economic Heartland Strategic Alliance here to talk about what their role might be in it, because it's, going to only, it's only going to work if you collaborate, and they could uh, be absolutely fundamental to that, because you're going to have this shared responsibility between uh, the government and Highways England and the council, so how do you make that happen? Um, quick thanks to Burgess Salmon, who are sponsoring this session. Uh, there's executive summaries of the report on your desk table, so you can see those. Before we get going, we've been doing this, uh, ACOM have sponsored this voting system. We've been doing it all day yesterday, uh, and basically the calculator on your table, which looks like a calculator, you can see the answers uh, behind me. I'll read out the question in a second. Pick the one you like. If you want to change your mind, just press the new button. It cancels out the old one, and we'll see what people think. So the question for this session is, how soon do you believe it will be um, before fully autonomous, i.e. level five, eyes off, hands off vehicles will be seen on public roads? I get asked that question constantly. Uh, it seems to have been about five years, for about five years, so uh, let's see. But um, less than five years time, five to 10 years time, 10 to 15 years time, 15 to 20 years time, more than 20 years time, more than half a century. I don't know if anyone's going to go for that one, but um, so if you press your buttons now, and the answers will come up in about 15 or 20 seconds. We've got some music to add to the tension. Interestingly, we did a lot of these votes yesterday, and what came across from a, a Rhodes conference is how popular public transport is, and how often people thought public transport was the answer to relieving the roads, and also how unpopular taxing drivers is. Absolutely no one ever voted for... Um, adding tax to, uh, to, to the driver's pockets. But let's have a look. Five to ten years' time, that's about what I would go for as well, actually. Though I suppose it's very incremental, isn't it? No one went for more than half a century. Seven people, more than 20 years' time. Very uh, pessimistic there. Okay, well, let's uh, get on with the, the business of this morning. This fascinating report, real food for, for thought. So please welcome to the stage the author, David Quarmby. <laughs> 